Hello, this is the editor. In the last couple of videos in this series, we created a terrain that had some points of interest, it had some vegetation, and it was a pretty good looking terrain. Only thing it was really missing was lighting and some good looking water, which is what we are going to be adding in this video. So bring up the Gaia game manager, and all we have to do is click this third button here. Create player, post effects, screenshots of skies, water and wind. Are you sure you want us to do it? And I said, yes, please. And it says, OK, we'll do that. It's going to import a whole bunch of things into your scene. And here we are. We're underwater because the camera has been moved. So the first thing that I want to do is just move the camera up here to somewhere interesting. Let's say just say here, select the camera, hit Control Shift F. And you can see in the preview and in the game view down here, it has now moved the camera into uh, the position I'm so you can see in the scene view. So that gives us a good starting position when we hit play. Um, the other thing that I want to do is to remove the canvas here. Just get it out of the way. It, it is not a problem. It explains how to you fly the camera. But I just want to get it out of the way, have the, the maximum view most uninterrupted view. Now, what's happened here is Gaia has put in some samples of the ambient skies. And so this ambient sky that we see here is a sample from the ambient skies package. The ambient water samples, so we've got our water down here, and that comes from the ambient water samples. It's also put in some wind and a fly camera. So if I click play now, we get to fly around our terrain. Uh, we have some audio, you can see some wind on the trees here, and I can fly around my terrain using the fly camera. Look at what's going on. Okay, but there's a couple of problems with this. Firstly, I'm not absolutely keen on the mo motion blur that's been put in. Uh, as part of the post FX, and also because I'm using um, some pretty high settings for the terrain here, and my machine is reasonably powerful but not amazing, my uh, frame rate can stutter a bit. So we're averaging at about 73, it does occasionally drop down to as low as 60, and that's not ideal. I'd like it to be lovely and silky smooth. One thing I do want to do is to adjust the post effects just slightly. So if I go into Ambient Sky Samples, go to the Global Post Processing, and turn off the motion blur, I don't like that effect. And that's all I'm going to do for now. Everything else can remain the same. And then the final thing that I want to do is to open up the Procedural Words Gaia Manager again and hit bake lighting. And this will bake the lighting for me, give me a bit more performance, make things look a little better. This is just the standard lighting, light baking that you get inside of the normal lighting environment. It's just a convenient place to get to it. And you'll notice if you look over here in the hierarchy, there is a global reflection probe that has been added for us by the Gaia system. And, and that's going to help a lot in this process of baking our lights. And we're very nearly done. When we are, we will go into play mode. OK, so the bake is finished. Let's take a look at our scene now. There we go. Our scene is looking good. We have a uh, similar FPS. Our lighting has improved. Fly around enough. We'll find a nice little framed photo like that if we want to. Though the textures back here could do with some work. But nevertheless, this is looking reasonably good. So the next thing that we'll do in the next video, I should go underwater actually, let me go underwater, go underwater in the right place. 
a nice little underwater effect going on as well. A bit bland. Could do with some plants under here. We'll look at how to do that later on. But it's a good start. Hello again. So in the next video, we are going to be creating a fly through using a program called Pegasus. So instead of trying to fly to the same locations every single time you change something in the scene, you can just have a set fly through that you tell it to do and you can do a direct compare and contrast of the two fly throughs. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.